People, my people, welcome back to Best Aussie Booze News and Reviews. Now, what is the most French drink that you can think of? Straight off the top of your head, yep, it's Champagne. It's from the Champagne region in northern France, and tonight we're having a look at that fine bubbly stuff from France. I have a bottle here. I'm about to look at how I can, yes, open it up. And I'm going to do a whole lot of, oh, I'm not going to do a whole lot of swearing. So champagne is something that Australians can't make anymore. We did once. The French cracked the silks. They took us to the international court that governs things such as trademarks, copyrights, etc., etc., and they won. And it seemed to be a bit of a stupid move for the French because what it did was in pursuing their own domain protection, the French actually caused Australia to have her own. So Australian sparkling wine, not Australian champagne, um, is now accepted as being every bit as good as this stuff, if not better. Now, we're going to hear the sound of um, happiness, because this stuff is generally popped in happy moments, even in my country. So, yes, I have not drunk this in quite a while. So, smell happiness is, yeah, there's a brut, and brut is, it's dry, okay? I generally don't like dry wines, unless it's, of course, a red. So let's pour a flute of glass. Should be noted, I do have a flute of glass, because those things that look like saucepans are actually the wrong shape. Because the entire point of the glass, and this is a cold glass taken fresh from my fridge, where the champagne was kept, it's actually meant to do stuff you see happening on your screens right now. All those beautiful bubbles are meant to be kept narrow. Partly I can see my smells in. Yep, the smells every bit as bad as not as bad as I remember it, so we are going to continue. Okay, straight now. I'm not a fan. Um, and Phil and Serene, who gave us this bottle, I'm sorry, dudes. Um, I'm going to have to go out and review some Spumetti. This is according to my computer, and I'll bring it up properly. This is anywhere from $8 a bottle through to, uh, according to Qantas Wine, um, $420, but that's Qantas and they charge, God knows. At um, Dan Murphy's, it will set you back, how much is Uncle Man going to set us back? According to them, I'm drinking some really expensive stuff, and I'm not much, oh, okay, each, $65. Round figures. Looking at the case, going okay, four hundred and ten dollars a bottle. Shit, this should be tasting a shit lot better. Okay, it's sixty five bucks, so it's reasonably well priced. Having said that, um, the bubbles are pretty. Bubbles are bubbles are very pretty. What is not pretty, pretty, is the fact that call me whatever you want. Um. I actually don't like this stuff. So this is not a good review. Um, I am going to go and get some Spumanti, which is the Italian version of it, and some Australian sparkling wine and see if I can get that to taste any better. Because for me, the Moet et Chandon Epinay Front from Epinay in France is seriously fucking overrated. I'm Odin. If you're not, you're that new subscriber and. Um, Remember, I'm on Patreon these days. Lots of good things are happening on Patreon these days. Catch ya.